Hello YouTube and Facebook, this is Bloodfinger. I need to really, really get down and speak my mind. I really don't know who else to turn to when I should, like, speak f for a couple of people. First of all, I want to say I hope everybody out there is doing okay. I apologize for the last video, the fucking phone... I'm sorry, the fucking fan was like covering my wording. I couldn't get a goddamn word out because the fucking fan is so goddamn loud. So I think I might have that video removed and just keep um, speaking in different ways. Sometimes I'll just have like one simple mask on. So other times I'll just like have like a scarf or something on. I'm really, really upset with my childhood hero who turned out to be a goddamn fraud. I mean, this is, a uh, this world, I will be honest, this world pisses me off more than anything in the whole fucking goddamn universe. I'm pissed off with society, I'm pissed off with the money-grubbing fucking sons of bitches who think they run the entire fucking world. I'm getting really fucking sick and tired of fucking society itself. And that should not be what's going on. Also, I wanted to just say, I hope everybody's doing okay out there during this coronavirus. We will get through this. We will overcome this and we will succeed. And we will rise up again. And we will face any challenge that comes our way. Now a personal note. Personally, I'm getting really pissed off with the rest of society. And that should not be and that should not be what's going on. I'm very angry with a lot of people. I got ripped off out of my inheritance by my scumbag brother who chose to fucking have everything that was mine fucking kept to himself. My brother fucking cares about himself. And to be honest, he may not know this, but I'm going to buy a fucking handgun one day and nobody's going to fucking stop me. I'm going to buy a fucking 44 caliber pistol. I'm going to buy a 22, a 9mm Beretta. I'm going to buy a whole shitload of guns. And there isn't going to be a fucking soul alive who's going to fucking stop me. Not a soul alive. Because I am an American and I have rights to own my bare arms. Pardon me. To own my guns. Nobody's gonna fucking stop me. Nobody. I'm gonna get my hands on a fucking 22, 9mm, or 44 Magnum. Or I'm gonna have to result to fucking blades. And my blade, and if my blades grow dull, I use my bare fists. This is a very crucial time for all of us. And the word needs to get put out there. Um, I do have a tough time seeking retribution for past criminal activities and past criminals. To be honest, I'm actually writing letters to David Berkowitz at his um, mailing address. And David Berkowitz... 
pardon me, I am having very difficulty. I'm having a lot of fucking difficulty speaking right now. I don't know why. I keep fucking stuttering like I do. I've been writing letters to David Berkowitz, and David Berkowitz used to be the son of Sam, a serial killer up in New York who literally brought New York City to its knees. He had shot six people and wounded seven others. But I don't think he did it alone. I think that David Berkowitz was working with a, a gang of conspirators. I think... I don't think he pulled the trigger at every single one of them. I think there was more than what was being told. I was watching that documentary that featured Bill Curtis and that got me thinking, I kind of do believe it. I believe that um, the other conspirators are going to come are going to come out. Living conspirators are going to be captured and we're all going to hear about it in the news. And we're all going to um, see firsthand as to what's been going on and what they were doing, how they were doing it, and they're going to answer for what they've done. I think that the whole entire Son of Sam conspiracy is going to fucking come head on with the law. It's going to charge head on with the law. And I think they're going to fucking fail. And I know they're going to catch him. I... I hope and I wish that they will track down these other remaining co-conspirators. And there is more to the conspiracy than there's... And that there's more to the conspiracy than just David Berkowitz. I don't think he acted alone. I think he had help. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is... I don't know what the problem is with our bats. I love bats. I used to have a pet bat as a pet. I don't see why everybody is just so fucking pissed off with bats. I fucking love bats. I wish I had my pet bat again. I wish I had my fucking 9mm Beretta again. That was my Beretta, not his. Dad fucked me over and my father fucked me over in death and my brother fucked me over in life. So, I'm never going to fucking talk to him again. He is a terrible, unforgiving fucking sack of shit, and he needs to fucking answer for what he's done. He is so lucky he's doing it the legal way, otherwise I would have fucking probably killed him off by now. But I don't kill. Which was why I ran away. I ran away and went to go stay with my mother, then she turned out to be an unfit parent too, so I ran away from her too. I have no family in my life. The only family I have are people who are not even blood. And I have to thank them for everything they've done. They've gave me food. They gave me a bed to sleep on. They've given me just everything a man could ever dream of. The only problem is I'm not allowed to have a fucking handgun in my possession. Living with these people, so... Hopefully when I'm settled into my new house, I can go gun hunting. I'm getting a fucking 9mm Beretta. And not a goddamn soul in this fucking universe is going to fucking stop me. And to be honest, I want to work. I do want to work. Another problem is that... I'm not going to talk about my funding because right now my funding's semi-okay, semi-not okay. I I've had people who cl proclaim to be my legal guardian. Everyone who said they were my legal guardian were fucking lying to me. They were lying to me. Taking what was mine. Well, there's one thing that he cannot fucking take from me. And that's my fucking cash. And I still get it, even though I'm sitting on my ass. I'm not going to say how I get it, but I fucking get it, thank God. And for those people who work... The only message I have for people who work and people who live on Social Security... 
Fucking try your best to keep every other dollar to yourself. Like loose change, fucking loose dollars that you get from your social security or your welfare. Just fucking hold on to what's left and hold on to it tightly. That's all I got to fucking say. You hold on to that spare fucking change and you hold on to it very, very tightly. Because you'll never know what the fuck's going to happen next. And people are trying to tell me I'm not fit enough to own a gun. Why? Why the fuck is that fucking possible? I think people are just fucking lying to me so that they won't give me a fucking goddamn handgun. The only thing I want in my life is, uh, other than a fucking house, a couple of costumes, and a fucking camera crew for my YouTube channel, is a fucking handgun. Maybe one or two rifles, and that's probably it. I'm really getting all pissed off with the rest of the world. If I can't buy a gun legally, I'm going to fucking snap. I will own a gun, and I will buy a gun. I'm going to buy guns and bullets. And I will use them for my own purposes. And that purpose is self-defense. I'm going to get my own house first. I'm going to move in, and then I'm going to go fucking gun hunting. My mom wants to fucking move in. She can go right ahead, but ain't going to fucking stop her. She wants me to live on fucking housing. I don't want to live on fucking housing. I don't want to fucking go through with that bullshit again. She doesn't want to fucking work. Because she's in pain. Fucking Jess is fucking... Dealing with fucking pain 24-7 and she still fucking works. I wish I could have a fucking easy fucking cakewalk job like she's got. You know what they say in the Bible is what you, what you seek is what you find. I don't want to live lazy. I don't want to live like a fucking nobody. I don't want to hate my job. I want to love my job. And I want my job to be a fucking cakewalk. And thank God I'm still getting money, even though I'm just sitting on my ass right now fucking making YouTube videos. But guess what? Guess what? I'm going to find myself a fucking job, and I'm going to fucking make a little moolah on the side. And nobody is going to fucking stop me from buying a goddamn handgun. I'm going to buy a fucking rifle. I'm going to buy a couple more handguns. And if I have to, I'll fucking tear this whole goddamn planet apart. If I have to get a fucking gun in my hand. I'm very pissed off with the people in my life who've done nothing but fucking lie to me. And I hate my family. I hate, to be honest, I hate my entire fucking family. I hate every single one of them. I fucking hate all my uncles. I hate all my aunts. I hate all my fucking grandparents, my parents on my mom's side, my parents on my fucking father's side. I don't fucking like any of them. I don't like them. I hate my entire fucking family. 
and the only and the only friends I got are people that actually are like my fucking family. They may hate guns, but I'm going to like guns no matter what. And one day I will own my own fucking firearm. And nobody's going to fucking tell me otherwise. I could have fucking made threats to my brother. I told him if he didn't give me my fucking handguns back, I would have cut out his tongue with a pair of pliers and a fucking pair of surgical scissors. But that's not who I am. I hate my brother. I hate my mother. I hate my father. I hate my other siblings. And I hate my cousins. I hate my uncles. I despise every fucking single one of them. I hate every single fucking one of my fucking family members. And I absolutely fucking hate them. I hate them with all my fucking heart. I wish my brother and his family would die of the fucking coronavirus. I wish he would just die from the coronavirus. And I wouldn't have to like fucking sacrifice somebody to fucking to the devil to fucking get my wish. I wish my brother was dead and I didn't have to fucking sacrifice anybody to fucking do it. I wish my brother was dead. I wish his entire fucking family was dead. So I can inherit what's truly mine. Listen to me, I sound like fucking Norman Osborn from fucking Spider-Man. I'm gonna get going, people. Have a good night, stay safe. Try to stay as far from the virus as possible and God bless you all.